Sometimes I wonder, but you always call me back with your great love. I wanna love like you do. You want grace and love and life and truth. Jesus, all I want is to be close to you. I want to live right. There Welcome to the New Jersey Division. Um, we are core officers of the Jersey City Corps, Majors James and Maria Stevenson. God bless you. Enjoy worship. Stand up. 
not do wrong trying to be right. No haga el mal queriendo hacer el bien. This is something that my kids have grown up hearing their whole lives. Esto es algo que mis hijos han crecido escuchándolo toda su vida. So I want to share with you a little story that happened to me last year. Aquí le quiero compartir con usted una historia que pasó el año pasado. I'm coming home from work. Yo venía uh, del, para, de la, del trabajo para mi casa. And I'm in my van. Y estaba en mi guagua. And I'm getting close to my house. Y estoy eh, llegando uh, casi a mi casa. I see a lady who's across the street from my house with her two little kids and, and her dog. Eh, veo una señora al cruzar la calle de mi casa con sus dos hijos y su perro. Now, I start slowing down in my van because one, I'm getting closer to my house. Eh, empecé a, a bajar un poco la velocidad porque estoy acercándome a la casa. And two, because I see her, she's got small kids and they're not really secured, so I don't want the kids to just run out in the street. Y vi a los dos niños eh, que estaban así en la calle y no, no sabía si estaban seguros. This lady starts giving me the evil eye the second I begin to pass her. Y esa señora me miró con unos ojos cuando yo estaba pasando por la calle. And I am continuing to slow down because again, I'm getting close to my house. My house is right there. Y, y yo empecé a, a detenerme para llegar a mi casa porque and, mi casa estaba, está ahí. And she's just staring at me as I, as I pass her slowly. Y ella estaba mirando directo a mí. I get out of the van. Yo salí de la guagua. At this point, she has her cell phone out, and she's starting to call the cops. Y en este momento, ella saca su uh, teléfono celular para llamar a la policía. Understand, I'm in full uniform. Entienda que estoy yo en uniforme completo. I have lived in this house for five years. Yo he vivido en esta casa por cinco años. The same blue van has been parked in front of my house for five years. La misma guagua azul ha estado parqueada frente a mi casa por cinco años. But for some reason, this lady decided I did not belong there. Pero por alguna razón, esta señora decidió que yo no era de allí. I got out of my van. Yo salí de mi guagua. And I stood leaning up against the van y yo me, me paré en la guagua así, así de cerca just staring back at her mirando mirándola a ella didn't say a word no dije ni una palabra at this point i know she's on the phone with the police y en este momento yo sabía que ella estaba en el teléfono con la policía and i just hear her across the street because she's just across the street and i hear her say never mind and she hangs up her phone y entonces yo la escuché a ella decir Oh, no importa. Entonces ella colgó el teléfono. And I continued to stare at her until she walked away. Entonces yo seguí mirándola a la señora hasta que ella caminó y se fue. At which point I turned and went into my house. Y en ese momento yo eh, me fui para mi casa. Here's the point of that story. Aquí está el punto de esta historia. I was angry. Yo estaba enojado. I was angry at this lady. Estaba enojado a la señora. I was angry at the situation. Estaba enojado a la, en la situación. I was angry at the world. Estaba enojado contra el mundo. I was angry at God. Yo estaba enojado con Dios. Probably more so at God than anybody else. Probablemente más a Dios que a cualquier otra persona. Because everything is in God's control and I am tired of dealing with these issues. Porque todo está en control de Dios y yo estoy Estoy cansado de bregar con estas situaciones. Here's the thing I want to share with you. Aquí hay algo que quiero compartir con ustedes. This anger, this feeling, uh, when, we, when we encounter injustice, th this, this happens to all of us. Eh, cuando nosotros estamos enojados, eh, cuando sufrimos injusticias, esto nos pasa a todos nosotros. It could be racism. Puede ser racismo. Sexism. Puede ser sexismo. Nepotism. Puede ser eh, ne nepotismo. Nationalism. O puede ser nacionalismo. Any of the isms, really. O cualquiera de los ismos. Anytime we see or experience injustice. Any, en cualquier momento que nosotros experimentamos la injusticia. It triggers that anger in us. Y, y no, no, nos llena esto de enojo por dentro. Every time I think I'm past it. Y cada vez que pienso que ya pasé por eso, Something new happens. algo nuevo pasa. Some new story comes out. Alguna nueva historia pasa. 
I experience something new. Yo experimento algo nuevo. And I'm right back to y, that point of anger. Y estoy otra vez de vuelta a ese momento de enojo. At these times, I, I go to my Bible and I, I look at Psalm 73. En estos momentos, yo miro en la palabra de Dios el Salmo 73. Psalm 73. Truly, God is good to Israel, to such as are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped. For I was envious of the boastful. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked, there are no pangs in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, nor are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride serves as their necklace. Violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes bulge with abundance. They have more than heart could wish. They scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They're, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walks through the earth. Therefore, his people return here and waters of a full cup are drained by them. Mm -hmm. And they say, how does God know? And is there knowledge in the most high? Behold, these are the ungodly who are always at ease. They increase in their riches. Surely I have cleansed my heart in vain. I have washed my hands in innocence. For all day long I have been plagued and chastened every morning. What I like about this psalm Lo que me gusta acerca de este salmo is the feelings that Asaph describes here. Es los sentimientos que Asaph describe. They're real. Son reales. They're raw. Son, son verdaderos. They're mine. Y son los sentimientos que yo siento. And at times yours. Y en cierto, en cierto momento también usted. And I feel almost justified in my anger. Y, y, y casi me siento justificado en mi enojo. But look back to verse 2. Pero mire el versículo número 2 del Salmo 73. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped. I almost allowed my anger to cause me to sin. Yo casi le permití a mi enojo dejarme caer en pecado. Psalm 4 and 4 tells us, be angry and do not sin. El Salmo 4, 4 dice, esté enojado, pero no peque. My anger is justified. M mi enojo es justificado. I can be angry at injustice that I see. Yo puedo estar enojado por las injusticias que yo veo. How do I deal with that anger? How do, how do I deal with me and God in that moment of anger? Pero, ¿cómo manejo yo ese enojo? ¿Cómo manejo yo con Dios ese enojo? If you go back to Psalm 73, which is where we're at, beginning at verse 21. Si volvemos al, al capítulo 73, el Salmo 73, eh, el versículo 21. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was vexed in my mind. I was so foolish and ignorant. I was like a beast before you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold me by my right hand. You will guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For indeed, those who are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all those who desert you for harlotry. But it is good for me to draw near to God. Amen. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all your works. Amen. I was wrong. Yo estaba equivocado. Not in my anger. No en mi enojo. But in my subsequent attitude and action. Pero en la actitud que yo tenía. I made the issue bigger than God. Hice la situación más grande que I Dios. made the focus something other than God. Hice el foco otra cosa que no era Dios. And I made the solution something God could not do. Y hice la solución algo que Dios no puede hacer. Now I go back to the title of this particular sermon. Ahora voy uh, nuevamente para el título de este mensaje. 
The same thing I told my kids their whole life growing up. Lo mismo que le he dicho yo a mis hijos desde que nacieron. Do not do wrong trying to be right. No haga el mal tratando de hacer el bien. The reverse of Psalm 73, Psalm 37, tells us this. Al revés, el Salmo 37 nos dice esto. And, and I'm going to close with this. Y voy a cerrar con esto. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in his land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as light and your justice as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Alleluia. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way, Amen. because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It only causes harm. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of justice. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. But salvation... But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Amen. Let us pray. Oremos. Padre Celestial, te doy las gracias en este día por el mensaje, Señor, que tú has traído eh, para cada uno de nosotros que estamos escuchando en este día. Señor, ayúdanos, Señor, a entender que tú estás siempre con nosotros, Padre bueno, que aunque nos enojamos, Señor, con la injusticia, sabemos que tú eres un Dios grande y poderoso, amoroso, que nunca nos abandona, Señor. Danos, Señor, la compasión para nosotros ser mensajeros, Señor, de justicia y de amor en este mundo. Bendice, Señor, a cada persona que ha escuchado este mensaje hoy, que cale profundo en su corazón y que continúen siendo bendecidos y que continúen, Señor, siendo mensajeros de justicia y de verdad. En el nombre de Jesús he orado. Amén y Amén. amén.
Thank you for joining us this week for our divisional worship service. Remember, do not do wrong trying to be right. Love God and love people.
Since I saw 